Okay, on to the most exciting part, pressing of the apple cider. We have our crushed apple, and we're going to drop that, well, we'll eventually be dropping that into another food grade container that I've cut to size, acting as somewhat something of a form. Um, I have the cotton cloth, it used to be white, uh, it's now been stained brown by the apple cider. Let's drop it in. And we fold over the cloth. The cloth, of course, will prevent uh, large pieces of apple from landing in our cider. Okay, carry it over. You'll notice it's dripping at the bottom, so you don't want that dripping all over the ground. Yeah, a little extra, drop that in. We now have two plastic uh, boards, just uh, cheap uh, cutting boards I bought at the dollar store. Uh, be sure not to cut them too large. You want them a little smaller than the inside dimension of the bucket, uh, because after pressing with the two-ton jacket, it could be something of a challenge getting them out. You'll notice the wasps running around drinking the cider. And uh, we have a, our extender, whatever you want to call it. It's just a uh, three-quarter inch plywood on the bottom of a uh, log. I could take off the bark, but eh, it's all organic. Our two-ton jack. And normally I would work from the back. That's uh, our half-inch plywood. Yeah, yeah there I don't know what side to put it on. Because normally I work from the back, and that's what I was trying to do. Normally I work from the back because you do not want those handles, which really are not secure from, you don't want them falling out and landing into your cider or anything else. You know, you'll be sitting there working on it. Uh, you don't want anything falling into your cider, which is actually right below the jack at the moment. Well, I guess I'm doing a lot of talking there in the video. I Unfortunately, the, the, the audio uh, turned out very poor, and that's why I'm doing uh, added voiceover to the, uh, the video. Okay, and then tightening up the valve. Uh, initially, the unit was very stiff. So I figured I needed a pair of pliers to turn it. Um, later, uh, it, I found I could just hand tighten it. All right, we'll give it a few pumps. And in a, just a minute, we'll have our cameraman come over, my assistant, uh, to show us, well, to film the, uh, the apple cider coming out of the bucket. There it is out of the tin. And we'll pump it a few more times. And there we go, fresh apple cider. Just doesn't get any fresher. That's right, position the bucket. And that's about it. Um, well, I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Uh, I had fun making the videos. I had even more fun building the apple crusher and the cider press. And uh, they work well to date. I think I've I've pressed about uh, 50 liters of uh, juice so far. It's just uh, it works fantastic. I might put a motor on the crusher later on, but yeah, maybe next year. Anyways, thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.